I suppose you're right. Come then. Find more, more fun. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a. And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? from the water an old pot mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes in case she can't find a privy you were supposed to fish out my slipper am i to dance now with one foot bed it is a wedding i've got to wear slippers oh look dearie i did take there muck must have sucked it deep in we'll poke your paws in there rut for it rubbish game What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip-in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid'll be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bow. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the missing question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Oh my. Oh, there's more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Observe, Shani. My eyes are clear. Mucky that pond, sank in up to my armpits. Mucky as it might be, the lake still couldn't keep my shoe from you. See, my blueberry? Such devotion in a small matter. Now imagine my devotion in matters large. Hmm, something specific in mind? Why, naturally. Ride off with me, Shani. To Kovir, Povis, Zeracania even. With a maid like you at my side, I could conquer the world. <laughs> Lovely plans, but I fear they're impossible to realize in just one evening. Too true, but it's nice to dream. Oh well, recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm -hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you.
nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something wild. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cafe. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. No need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. For tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farmhands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you, and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance, what dreams make young blood run. Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, then give them a few weeks, and we'll toast the lovely bear with his hair and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind our song, we all sing to be kind. That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Olgeard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Those dirt, but good. A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone. 
the bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Gods, what is this? <laughs> didn't have to make him suffer. Of course I needn't have. But I could. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless... What matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade, follow his path. As for me, well, perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Good meat ought to lift her spirits.